Hello, this is Transformers Fan G138, and this is my video review on Transformers Armada Sideswipe. And honestly, there's some pretty cool hidden things with this guy. Um, most notably is his color and his name. Sideswipe? Really? Well, um, huh. It's uh, actually just a pretty average car. Um, I like this because uh, most of the Transformers in Armada were a little bit eccentric. Like Optimus having treads on his trailer, um, Hotshot being bright yellow and a weird kind of weird angles on a sports car. But you know what? I like the Armada line a lot. So, um... You know, it says Transformers up here. He's got three Autobot logos. Really nice, actually. He's got some nice painted uh, paint apps on him. Um, unfortunately, I do not have some of his accessories. He came with a dagger and a gun. And they would form together, and the dagger would be like a bayonet on the end of the gun. And unfortunately, I lost those a really long time ago. Like, I don't even know how long ago. Long ago. Um... Well, anyway, well, I still have his Minicon, although it's not the best one, but it should shed some light on his name a little bit. And I noticed the yellow mixed with the blue, and then here's his Minicon. And if anybody knows the name of his Minicon, you'll understand the color. His Minicon's name is Nightbeat. Oh, Brain Blast. That means pretty much this guy is an homage to Nightbeat, who was a blue car, a blue headmaster car. And he's a detective. Interesting. Um, which is not even further more of an homage because he actually used detective work to track down Hotshot. Or actually, Blur, sorry. He tracked down Blur because Blur saved him at some point. And Blur was kind of a jerk in Armada. But. Anyway, it's nice. Copyrighted 2002, made in China. Yeah, so that's nice. Uh, so overall, his bottom actually looks like a car, not so much a robot. Minus the uh, motorcycle randomly showing up. Um, another cool feature, if you press down on this Autobot symbol when he's actually all lined up and perfectly together... The front of the car explodes open. And if you do it on a flat surface, it's a little bit more effective. And by a little bit more effective, I mean not effective at all. So, um, put this back clip together, which is not working out. And then clip the front together, and you have this like expanded uh, hit zone. Not really sure what the purpose of that was. Um, but he did use it in a show one, in the show ones. Um, unfortunately, some of the pegs inside rub against the wheels. You hear that? Um, but when it's in his normal mode, um, they're just really squeaky because I need to like put a little dab of oil on them. Uh, anyway, so I love the car mode. So I'm going to go ahead and transform it for you guys because he's pretty interesting transformation. I'm hearing loud music coming from outside. It's weird because I'm in the middle of nowhere. So um, fold down these. Um, pop this open here. Just uh, fold these down to the side. Reveals the head area. Next we want to hit this button. Pull off the minicon. Put him aside. Uh, pop this open. Bring this down, bring this one down. Separate these, turn them, bring this down, and slide the head forward. And now readjust this. Honestly, he's got to be have the one of the worst robot modes of Transformers Armada. With these do wood, with this roof of the car. Oh, and this snaps in place too. With the roof of this car like hanging off the sides of his legs. Uh, everything else looks like the show, except for these. 
Um, unfortunately, that's that. I guess I could probably pop the pegs out and just put them on and take them off. But, um, I'm too lazy to do that. So, um, he's got a ball and socket joint here for his elbow. This one's on a ratchet joint and a hinge. And, of course, you can still activate his punch claw thing that you can go and then uh, same with this side um, this is still like there um, for his leg mo movement he's got a little bit of movement here just do the transformation it's got a little bit of toe movement not a lot and he's got this motion and that's pretty much all he can do um, this arm notice it does not stay up it's actually trained with the mini con port on his back so put this mini con on here and theoretically it would start like out here so um goes up and um i guess that's for a punching action type thing like i don't know it's kind of weird anyway it's there whatever Hope I didn't get that off camera. I was watching me, not the camera. Um, so put that guy aside and let's talk about night beat or whatever. So transform this. Just bring these down. Bring this down. Bring this up. Turn. Down. Round. In. Open. Out. And that's the mini con. Not too spectacular. He has a very hard time standing up, but uh, yeah, he's there. Anyway, uh, that pretty much concludes my video review of Transformers Armada Sideswipe with Nightbeat. Or Nightbeat, if you want to go that route. Um, technically, if I had room in my collection, this guy would be Nightbeat Stand-In as I like this guy a lot better than I like the um, club exclusive version, which I did not buy. But um, it's there. So, uh, yep, that pretty much is it. So um, if you have any questions about the figure, please leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you. If you have any requests for further video reviews, uh, post a comment down below or shoot me a message and I will... Uh, do those reviews for you. I hope you enjoyed, and as always, thanks for watching.